Hey, so in the last video I talked about using motors and now I'm going to talk about PID control. So PID control is basically a more precise version of that motor on motor off code. But before we go into that, we are going to turn it on. So go to motors and center setup and then we are going to check PID control on motor D and motor E, which I'm going to use again, but you could use do this or any motor. Um, and we're going to hit apply and then OK. And then before we actually write the code to make to run PID control, I want to actually talk about what PID control actually is. So PID control is basically Power, it stands for Powered Incremental Drive. And basically what the purpose of PID control is because um, to basically to make the motors actually go at the desired speed because when we do motor to power and like motor to zero like we think it's going to go at our desired speed but it's not actually going to happen and I'm going to talk about a little bit about why now. So now I've switched over to my Mac side and I've got this little PDF open here as a sort of example of how PID control is useful and so in this example supposing we had the motor powers at 50 we wanted the motors to go at 50 and we think the motor, our desired speed is 50 and the motor power is going to be 50, right? But however, um, what actually ha is going to happen is something more along the lines of um, it try it's trying to go at 50 but it, the speed is actually f something more like 46. Be because due to things like air resistance and friction that cause inefficiencies and will will slow the motors down. So as as you can see there's an error of four with like the measured speed. So what PID control does is it'll adjust like measure the speed and then get the error and then add and no add basically increase the power to, of the drive motors to um, so that it'll, it's going to actually going at the desired speed. So as you can see PID control is uh, quite useful um, because I mean it'll look through this and um, keep correcting it and you'll you, you'll end up pretty consistently at the same end point um, from a d the same start point. So now that I've um, talked about what PID control is, we're going to actually write some code for it. So what you're going to do is type n motor uh, PID speed control and it'll give you a thing that'll complete it for you and then open bracket um, and then what the motor you, you want to use and then close bracket and then equals mtr um, speed reg and then semicolon, and then of course the same thing for the other motor except with the other motor's name. Um, so yeah, that's how to write code for PID control.